Hey baby nuggets, this is a collective reading for those who would resonate with it. Thank you for clicking on my video. Thank you so much. Let's see what comes up. Spirit guides, this is for the collective. This is whatever comes out. Of course, it's in regards to love, in regards to a divinely guided connection, a higher vibrational connection for those who are watching. It would be Twin Flame. Uh, um, what is it? A high vibrational soulmate, something that's meant to be a soul contract. Okay, like the three of pentacles a soul a soul contract oops i almost choked <clears throat> so thank you for sharing liking subscribing etc and yeah becoming part of my celias tarot community i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram thank you for being here let's see what messages do we have spirit guides for the collective in regards to their divinely guided connection i'm not doing reversals okay there's an inner calling. Yeah, they're heartbroken because of something. All right. I don't think it's third party anymore. I think it's heartbroken. You're going to find something out real quick. There's some kind of either inner calling, reconciliation with you or something that's going on because they've mentally checked out of a situation apparently. That's what I got from the three of swords, okay? Mentally checked out and they're going through a very beautiful um awakening a spiritual awakening yes here is the energy of um the queen of pentacles let's see let's see why the queen of pentacles is here and i just said here because it belongs there <laughs> where i said it it belongs there why is or who is the queen of pentacles maybe that's you look who's on the bottom of the clarifying deck mr emperor himself the divine masculine why is the queen of pentacles here maybe it's a transition from the queen of pentacles because you see how the death card was placed look at him just oh shoot okay so apparently this is the kind of energy that your divine masculine is uh, holding or bringing in as not, not being or not holding the energy of being confused anymore, okay? This is you, divine feminine, because the emperor fell out again. This is you as the queen of pentacles, and that's how... The Divine Masculine is seeing you as, wow, just <laughs> nurturing and you got, you, you own your shit. You get what I mean? You know what you're doing. You got your pentacles, your, um, if you're a mom, a mother, they know that you're a caring and loving mother and you are the epitome of what it is they like and what they love and they love to see that in you and they're fantasizing about either why is the seven of cups here they're holding back four of pentacles they're holding back and you don't know anything yet but why is the seven of pentacles seven of cups here please why is the seven of cups a clarifier yeah they're fantasizing of how to get you into their life making that making you their wife oh that rhymed yes i love it so Miss Queen of Pentacles, they're moving away from something towards you, babe. Moving away from something, most probably is this, most definitely is heartache. But they're moving away from that towards you. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so much. Another clarifier, if anything. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. They want to bring in balance. Bring in the good stuff. For you and them. Let's see. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I'm always sniffling. I am always sniffling because I have sinus issues. Um, sinus issues that Jamaica me crazy. They drive me crazy. So I have, what is it? Uh, Post-nasal drip. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I saying this right now? 
So regardless, yes. Uh-huh. This is for you, baby. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Whoever's watching, this is for you. The Four of Wands, Collective Baby Nuggets. Let's see. What is... Let's just put it this way. What is the Divine Masculine feeling towards the Divine Feminine? Feelings towards the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Towards the Divine Feminine. Was that Mr. Emperor? Yeah, gathering the strength, the courage to come forward. Their feelings, their feelings are that they feel that you are the one. You're genuine, you're nurturing, you're caring, tender. Queen of Cups energy, babe. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All of these readings are so, yeah, they want to start a cycle with you, babe. Karmic justice. They're gathering the strength to do what it is they need to do and work it out in their life. Maybe working really, really hard to bring in karmic justice for, um, for this situation to start a new cycle with you, babe. This is what they're feeling. They're feeling that they need to work hard, which is very nice. That is extremely promising, right? Um, don't put comments, guys, that are like, that the, it's redundant, right? That sometimes people put comments where it's like, they start saying, oh, there's no second chances. Nobody's coming back. There's no second chances and blah, blah, blah. And this and this and that. Like if it doesn't resonate, right? I'm sorry, it doesn't resonate. It just means it's not your reading. Baby cakes, baby nugget, okay? Mm -hmm. So then their feelings for you is that they feel like they need to gather up the strength, the courage, the chutzpah, and work very hard towards this karmic justice to bring in a new cycle with you, babe. How beautiful is that, right? So what are they doing? What is... The Divine Masculine doing at the moment. It's whenever you see this video, okay? Whenever you see it, what is the Divine Masculine doing at the moment in regards to the Divine Feminine? Uh, yeah. So the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Moving forward with something that has to do with the Queen of Swords. Let's see what it is. Working hard. Yeah, that's, oh, finishing something up there. Look at the Ten of Swords, baby nugget. Mm-hmm. Let me see what else. Taking action. Yes, taking action. Ugh. A little bit apprehensive maybe in regards to taking action, in regards to a Queen of Swords, but they're at it. They are at it. This is what I got. Let me get a clarifier. But they're working hard towards this, right? A little bit apprehensive and not wanting to complete this task. But they have something they want to move forward to. Towards. Sorry. And it's the Everlasting Love, the Knight of Cups. That's my Everlasting Love card. And these two together, baby nuggets. I love it. It's the fire and ice. Oh. What is it? Sarah. Sarah. Storms are brewing in your eyes. Like fire and ice. Okay, what's that part? Ah! A dream will come true. Ooh, with fire and ice, a dream will come true. Something like that. Ooh, that song is the bomb. And they're waiting for this. They are searching for this and searching for answers and searching within. Just like the strength card that came in. <clears throat> they're wondering how they should come towards you and they're working hard towards this what's happening with the queen of swords and the king of wands because they're determined this is like the epitome of determination and this card has come out in a lot of general readings a lot of collective for divinely guided connections that are about to come into union and it's very exciting so the ten of swords that's why this is happening with c and defensive the Divine Masculine is being very defensive towards a Queen of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And let's see El Porque. Who is the Queen of Swords? Give me a clarifier, baby nuggets. I mean, <laughs> oh, look at this. So I didn't say anything about reversals, right? Oh, man. 
This is the Four of Pentacles, which in reverse is letting go. So that means letting go of a Queen of Swords, ironically, right? But the Four of Pentacles like this is holding back, which it came back, it came out earlier. But in reverse, it's letting go, right? Just letting go, releasing all those pentacles that have been <laughs> very heavy and very tormenting, right? Let me get another clarifier. Spirit guides for the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's tedious ASF. It has been tedious. It has been more than eight years, maybe, that you know this person, the Divine Masculine, or that this person has been in this trajectory of being tormented. Um, and what they want to do is come forward. Hello, come forward with this everlasting love that has been here and the spectacular attraction that this person, that your divine masculine has had towards you for a very long time. And this may be also, they're waiting. They're not anxiously waiting, but they're looking for something to shift it's like if they don't want to stir the pot right they don't want to stir the pot because this one has been stirring the pot and in charge of the pot for a long time but i feel like the divine masculine is coming in with a lot of i just heard desperate energy so i'm not sure if there's going to be desperate energy around the divine masculine but regardless I think it's like they're finally acknowledging with the other cards that had come out also like a spiritual awakening that they want this and they've been searching for this for quite a long time and they may, they may also be at a distance from you divine feminine <clears throat> why is the four of cups here please clarifier for the four of cups spirit guides universe thank you thank you thank you thank you spirit guides yeah walking away walking away mentally mentally swords are mental energy so this is a mental look at this they're like their feelings towards you karmic justice karmic justice is coming through baby nuggets <clears throat> they, it's coming through man why is the do you see this no you don't okay why is the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck? Because it's taken forever and it's really <clears throat> caused turmoil within them, within their psyche, <clears throat> mental energy, okay? They want to talk because I'm choking now and I was choking before, but they really want to talk. They want to express something, but they want to let go of this first. Knight of Pentacles. It's been, lo it's been long and tedious. This is everlasting love and something concrete that they even know and acknowledge in all reality, divine feminine, baby nuggets, that it's like if they knew deep down inside, whether consciously or subconsciously, that you guys belong together. Who am I gonna lean on when times get rough? Oh, we belong together. I can't sleep at night when you're out of my mind. Woo! All right, baby nuggets. <clears throat> Let's see. Blam! Splat! Um, what is their next move towards the divine feminine? I'm just saying that's the divine masculine. You're the divine feminine. Take it as it resonates. I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna go there. All right, babe. <clears throat> Let's see. What's the divine masculine's next move towards a divine feminine spirit, guys? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Sneaky McSneakums. They're sneaking over and they're figuring out. Yeah. Ooh, divine feminine. I like this. I like this very much because it's going to be a shocker for you. It's going to be a surprise. And as SpongeBob said... I like surprises. <laughs> Woo, the inner calling, babe. The inner calling, the inner calling. What is their next move towards the divine feminine? What is the divine masculine's next move towards? Well, this one fell a reverso. <laughs> 
Yeah, not holding on anymore. Not holding on anymore, any longer, babe. Wanting to reconcile, celebration, celebrate good times. They won the war. They have won the war and they're going to tell you that after all of this hectic the hermit card mode introspection that they've done uh and it's a very positive card this introspection that they're ready for something concrete something good something divinely guided as they know and are aware of already baby nuggets give me a clarifier for the tower card please what's up with the tower card spirit guys I can't sleep that night because you are on my mind. And then I that the radio. Yeah, I don't know the lyrics. But the King of Swords, direct to the point. Uh, no pelo en la lengua, no hair on the tongue, as we say in Cuanazo. Um, and you're going to be shocked. A new beginning, baby. They're going to come in. No nonsense, no mushy stuff, no kinky stuff. But they're going to be telling you, listen, this is how it is. This is what I've planned. And isn't that sexy, Divine Feminine? Ah, That is so sexy when a guy comes to you and says, okay, um, not necessarily in an egotistic way, you get it? But when they have something planned out already, it's like, oh, wow, yes, plan it, baby. Do it. Uh-huh. And they've been planning this. They're making their plan. They're... Mm, Writing down everything and the pros and the cons. I like this very, very much. They're being very meticulous, Divine Feminine, or whoever's watching. Extremely meticulous, which means it's a plan. It's a plan. And it is divinely guided also. It's beautiful. Holy macaroni with shredded cheese. Yes. Parmesan cheese. Uh-huh. So let's get some of these before my phone says, I'm shutting off. I'm not kidding. No, you're not. Let's get some of these baby nuggets. Whoop -la. I just bought them. So these are for those of you that are not in communication or maybe even limited communication per se. These are so cute. These are messages from your divine masculine to you beauty beautiful baby nuggets let's see what are the messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine at this moment what messages there are they're so thick that i can't with my little manitos what messages oh does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine at this moment thank you oh thank you spirit guides thank you universe Wait a minute, this is too deep, too deep. Woo! All right, I never expected to fall in love. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get for Bajita. I never expected to fall in love. I can't take being away from you any longer. Well, we feel the same, Divine Masculine. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. Aren't these adorable? Like, I can't wait till I get my cards done. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. And these are grammatically correct. And they're just simple with the little hearts. Adorable. So let me know what you thought about this reading, guys. There's movement forward. There's positivity in the air. And once you create that positivity, guys, you create it in your surroundings. You create it within yourself. You create that love and light within you and you extend it to everybody else. And therefore, you're calling in and making, not making, having your divinely guided partner heal and lift high vibrationally. <laughs> uplift themselves also and they feel your energy baby nuggets they feel it oh so exciting okay i love you guys thank you for watching thank you for sharing liking subscribing and doing all that sexy stuff mm -hmm. share like subscribe i love you take care get your personal reading celia's tarot at gmail.com i love you bye